Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply It's like that You're just gonna walk into Hello my kings and queens, welcome to my channel Goddess of Whispers, it's your girl Karen and I am so, so excited to welcome my Leos back to my channel. If you are a night watcher, welcome to our royal family. I do want to let you know this is a general love reading. This reading may or may not resonate with all of my kings and queens, so take what does and leave the rest. If this reading does not resonate, please check with your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Also, the energies or the roles in my readings may be interchangeable, so apply yourself as you see fit. Don't forget, if this reading does resonate, don't forget to click like, share, subscribe, and click the bell to get future notifications to know when your girl will be uploading another video. And as you know, my Leos, your weekly does come with an extended, so in the extended, we dive deeper into the message. So what we don't uncover in the first half of the reading, we may uncover in the second half of the reading. There's two links in the description box below. One is a membership option and one is a one-time access option. Both options is five dollars. The difference between the two is the membership option will allow you access to all my zodiac sign extended readings so you'll be able to check out all of your other placements and binge watch down there if you choose to. All right, how are you doing, my Leos? I hope you guys are doing fabulous. I am in the state of Florida and it is crazy cold right now, so that's why I have on my sweater. So <laughs> I hope you guys are doing awesome with everything that is going on in the world, but we're going to tap in and see what energies is surrounding you this week for the collective. Calling on my ancestors and spirit guides, what's the energy here surrounding the collective? What is it that they need to know this week? What is the energy coming in towards them? What is the energy? Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we have, I am, I am happy for you, okay? So someone is going to tell you either that they're happy for you, or it could be an energy where you are going to be happy for someone else. We have here thinking of you is the the energy okay so someone is thinking of you or maybe you are thinking of someone it's almost like an energy where someone is just maybe happy for the other person could be the energy here or um someone is happy for you maybe someone told you that recently uh, could it be the energy maybe you got a new job maybe you bought a new car you know maybe you bought a new house uh, you know whatever the energy is here we're going to tap into it but someone is also thinking of you okay look at that cut the deck we have a man holding a heart okay is the energy here so what is the energy spirit let's get two cards from this deck what's the energy surrounding this reading good what is the energy surrounding the collective what is it that they need to know what is the energy here all right, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we have adjacent possibilities, and then we have a woman holding a coin is the energy, okay? Then we're going to get two energies from this deck. What is the energy surrounding this reading? What is the energy surrounding this reading? All right, what is the energy surrounding this reading? All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. We have compassion. And then we have well-being. All right, so let's tap into these energies, guys, okay? With the adjacent possibilities card, this is an energy of possibilities that could be coming in your way. There could be doors opening here for someone. Maybe this could be coming in towards you, or maybe this is something that is transpiring for someone. But I'm definitely seeing new opportunities happening here for someone, okay? It could also mean missed opportunities. Maybe you had some opportunities, but are in a position or space where you are not open to these possibilities. But I'm definitely feeling like something is going to change within your life as the energy here or something has changed already in your life as far as unexpected changes go new doors opening for you new opportunities okay we also have here woman holding a coin so this could be someone coming in towards you or this could just be your energy you know this is someone who is very good um, with money financially this is someone who um, seeks stability in situations this is someone who can also be a mentor as far as maybe a financial advisor advisor, a banker, um, something to do in the finance industry could be the energy surrounding someone here. Maybe this is an energy that is going to be coming in here towards you, but nonetheless, we're going to tap in and to keep in mind too, you know, uh, this could be a man as well as a woman. It is an energy. Okay. We have compassion. 
Okay, so this can mean compassion is needed right now in your life, or maybe someone is coming in here to be compassionate towards you. You know, someone's coming in to have understanding in the situation or to be more, um, have more empathy in the situation or be more loving or caring towards you could also be the energy here. Maybe this, I'm thinking of you card, maybe you are needing to be, have more compassion towards this person or vice versa. Take it as it resonates, but compassion is definitely needed here in this um, energy. We have well-being. Someone could be taking care of themselves, okay? This is the energy, or someone needs to take care of themselves. This energy speaks of eating right, maybe, um, you know, going for walks. This could even be an energy of going to the gym, you know, but taking care of oneself, one's mental health, physical health, emotional health, spiritual health, health is the energy here surrounding the reading, okay? Taking care of you, nourishing your mind, body, and soul is the energy here, okay? So we're going to tap in and see what this is all about. What's the energy here, spirit, for the collective? What is it that they need to know? What is the energy for the collective? What is the energy that my Leos need to know in this reading? What is coming in towards them in love and money matters? What is the energy here? What is the energy here? Tell me more about this adjacent card. Oh, this is wanting to flip right off the bat. We have the Ten of Cups. Tell me more about this adjacent possibilities card. Um, the woman holding the coin, compassion, and this well-being. What is this all about? Thank you so much. All right, so we got the Three of Wands, and then we got the Ace of Swords. Let's get, um, well, thank you, thank you, thank you. These energies are coming out. Okay, so we got the Ten of Swords, okay, and the last two energies just fell right out. All right, so let's dive in and see what is going on. At the bottom of the deck, guys, we have the Star Energy. So let's talk about this energy at the bottom of the deck. With the Star being here, you could have been dealing with an Aquarius, okay, is the energy surrounding you. But this energy could mean a few things. This could mean, you know, someone is coming in here towards you. This could mean new opportunities is on the horizon here being having a being on a rightful path here being spiritually guided towards a rightful path this energy speaks of good health taking care of oneself and healing past situations okay breaking those change or overcoming those barriers in your life this card is a card of inspiration and spiritual guidance and hope okay this card also means a wish comes true or something happens for you in your favor is the energy okay there is a shining star surrounding someone in this reading all right so let's go ahead and tap in and see what this is all about okay so we have the ten of cups the three of wands the ace of swords and the ten of swords the two of cups and the knight of swords okay so strong energies here let's go over the energies first we have the ten of cups so water energy pisces cancer scorpio with the three of wands fire energy aries leo sagittarius the swords energy here with the ace of swords we have the ace of swords ten of swords and a knight of swords could have been air energy aquarius gemini libra and then we also have the two of cups which is also water energy with the ten of cups guys okay this is a very strong energy of a family dynamic it could mean this is an energy coming in here towards you maybe you were a family at one point maybe you are a family currently okay so take it as it resonates this card definitely represents uh marriage it could represent uh married with children it could just or represent um a commitment with children okay it re represents a family dynamic you don't necessarily have to have children in this essence but you were in a committed relationship with someone at one point there was a lot of love here is the energy here you guys did things together as a family that could be the energy or this is something that is coming in here towards you because the ten of cups can also represent new love okay that is coming so this is could be something that is being foreseen for you in the future we have and why i say that is because we have the three of wands the three of wands means your ships are ready to come in towards you okay Three of Wands is something that you've been waiting for, for for a while. This is now starting to come in your way. So whatever it is that you've been hoping and wishing for and praying for here, that is the energy that I'm seeing in this reading. This is what is coming in towards you, okay? Especially with this Three of Wands in the reading, okay? This energy speaks of, it could also speak of someone waiting for you, but or also to your waiting for something to happen in your life. And that could explain why the adjacent possibilities is here and the woman holding a coin here. We have the Ace of Swords, okay? Is the energy of mental clarity okay what was cloudy at one point in your life is now clear so if you are feeling confused right now or you are having some type of misunderstanding in the situation that is going to clear up for you with this ace of swords energy or this could mean in the future something is going to transpire where you're going to now have that aha or epiphany moment where things are going to be more clear in your life this energy could also represent cutting people out of your life it could be also the energy here maybe you cut someone out of your life that you felt didn't serve your highest good or 
your highest purpose is the energy surrounding this reading now we have the ten of swords Okay, so someone here could have been served divorce papers. Okay, so take it as it resonates. Someone had enough of someone stabbing them in the back multiple times. Okay, they stabbed you in the back so much times, but they missed the bullseye. That means that you still have the strength here to move on with your life. Okay, there's still hope or there's still opportunities for growth here in your life. I feel like whoever this person is, they're taking their you know, burdens or they're taking their hurt or their pain and they're moving forward, okay? No longer wanting this person to manipulate them, take advantage of them, whatever the case may be, you're tired of being that doormat for someone here is what I heard, okay? So strong energy here, someone hurt you very deeply. This could also be an energy of hitting rock bottom in situations, okay? So take it as it resonates, but someone is now using that door. That door has always been there in your life, but you were the only one that could access that door. So this is an opportunity now where you are telling yourself, you know what, it's time for me to use this door. It's been there, it's been shut, when all I had to do was turn the knob or use my key and open it that I've always had, okay? We have the Two of Cups here as well. So this could be an energy that's coming in towards you. Two of Cups is about, you know, romantic love, partnering with someone, a proposal. It could even mean a very strong friendship, but this is all about love, okay? Coming together with someone that you find that is very loving, caring, brings compassion in situations, okay? Making you feel amazing is the energy surrounding you too, okay? So something could be coming in here towards you, okay? Could be ear energy because we do have the night of swords energy here so with the knight of swords energy this is a very impulsive energy okay maybe you have air in your chart as well take it as it resonates but this is a very impulsive energy a very you know flighty in and out type of energy this is very busy okay so this person that's coming in here towards you i'm seeing someone who you know loves living life they love adventure they love doing new things as the energy surrounding this person. This person is going to have you on a whirlwind of a romance if this is love coming in here towards you. You're gonna be very happy in this situation. I feel like this person is going to, you know, help with your well-being, if I may say so, because this is someone who is very energetic, loves to do things, is going to always keep you on your toes as the energy surrounding you in this reading. Okay. So let's go ahead and clarify these energies. Okay, let's clarify a little bit further. What's uh, I want to clarify the Ten of Cups spirit, the Three of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Two of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. What's the energy here? Clarify further. What's the energy here for the Leos? What is it that they need to know in this reading? What is the energy here? Clarify further. What's the energy surrounding this reading? What is the energy here? What is the energy here? Clarify the Ten of Cups, the Three of Wands, the Ace of Swords, Ten of Swords, okay, Two of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. What are you trying to sell me, spirit? Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we have the clarifying the tennis the Ten of Cups, we have the Three of Swords, interesting energy. Then we got the King of Pentacles here. We got the Three of Pentacles, okay. We have the Five of Cups, ooh, clarifying the Ten of Swords. So this had a lot to do with, oh wow, you got something better. Oh child, won't he do it? Won't he do it? And at the bottom of the deck, guys, we got the Page of Cups. You are on a path to love. This is what this is all about. Love news is coming in here towards you. That's what this reading is indicate. The Page of Cups is, speaks of someone who is a dreamer, someone who brings compassion to relationships, someone who's very loving, very caring. This person could also be very creative. I also heard someone could be reading uh, romance novels is the energy here, or watching romantic movies is the energy, or writing poetry, something to do with that. Um, retrospect with this energy coming through for me but I'm definitely seeing someone here coming in towards you could be water energy Pisces Cancer Scorpio this person is being spiritually guided towards you is the energy let's go over a little bit further and then we'll close out and move into the extended so we got the ten of cups clarified by the three of swords so this situation have ended for you whoever this uh, family dynamic was for you it ended for you here left you brokenhearted by the situation um, is the energy someone here definitely is dealing with or dealt with heartbreak, divorce, loss, or something to that retrospect, okay? 
feeling aban un abandoned is the energy here or feeling unloved is the energy surrounded or underappreciated by someone that you truly cared about. Okay, this could be the father of your child or the mother of your child is the energy here. So take it as it resonates, but definitely someone needed to move on. I'm seeing a lot of tears here, okay, is the energy. Someone's writing in their journal or was writing in their journal um, about what transpired in their life in order to help them move on is the energy. Now with the three of wands, okay, then I say your ships are coming in. So you could have someone in um, pentacles energy. So earth energy towards Virgo or a Capricorn that's coming in here towards you or guys, okay? Remember we had the woman holding a coin and this is the king of pentacles that speaks of someone in the finance industry or someone who seeks security or someone who is just very stable in their life. I feel like someone's coming in here towards you that is going to offer you stability. This person has their shit together is the energy here. King of Pentacles energy is someone who's very practical. It could be a businessman, businesswoman. This person is very dependable in situation as far as stability goes. They strive themselves on being um, a provider in situations. Okay, this person speaks of stability is the energy that I am seeing that is coming in here towards you. So it could be an earth, guy, earth sign, guys, Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Okay, I feel like this person also too has their own home. Okay, they own their own home is what I just heard. We also have here Ace of Swords clarified by the Three of Pentacles. I feel this has a lot to do with a new beginning. You could be meeting this person at work. Could be the energy is what I'm seeing here. So you're cutting out whatever bullshit that you had in your past and you're moving forward. This adjacent possibilities mean new doors opening for you but i feel like it has something to do with the workplace or you're going to meet someone at the workplace or maybe even discussing work matters with someone or maybe starting a new business and you come into you know come encounter with this person in that retrospect but something to do around a work dynamic is where you're going to meet this person is the energy that i am seeing here now with the ten of swords clarified by the five of cups guys okay very obvious energy here but this is someone who is in heartbreak mourning over a situation that speaks of loss regret grief feeling abandoned or unloved in the situation you left someone behind that hurt you to the core that is the energy here or someone left you behind for some of you you could have been married to this person and someone would serve divorce papers here is what i'm seeing but it left someone heartbroken they thought this was going to be their happy ending but it turned out not okay we also have here the two of cups being clarified by what guys the star card you cannot make this up guys okay very strong energy someone is being spiritually guided towards you could be an earth sign or an air sign aquarius gemini or a libra or a taurus virgo or a capricorn this two of cups speaks of healing past situations it speaks of love this speaks of bliss this speaks of contentment in your life but this could also mean being destined to be with someone sensing here very strongly here these stars are speaking to me that someone is being spiritually guided towards you i feel like your spirit angels are surrounding you at this time and is giving you what you need at the right time is the energy so we have the knight of swords clarified by what guys what do you see there tell me yep ace of cups love news okay this speaks of happiness bliss new relationship could even mean someone coming in here to offer you a strong commitment but i'm seeing very strongly here a new whirlwind of romance that is coming in here towards you my leos okay so someone that you know is thinking about you you are going to be very happy or maybe someone is going to tell you they are happy for you is the energy here or vice versa so take it as it resonates but nonetheless guys you're going to want to meet me in the extended we're going to dive deeper into this message i want to know how this person truly feels about you i also want to know you know if this is new love coming in here towards you what is their true intentions and what is holding this person back from reaching out to you do you know this person also too what the outcome of the situation is and what action is needed to bring this for to fruition for you and also to what advice you are needing from spirit all right guys till next time bye i guess you're back are you gonna tell me where you went all the messages i sent with no reply